So most people are unaware that countries are just areas of land which have been created in the minds of other people. So somebody decided where the border would go between uh, England and Scotland. Uh, someone said, right, no, so, you know, this field, this is in England, and the next field, that's in Scotland. And so if you live on the Scottish land, so to speak, then um, you have these set of rules uh, in your life and you're entitled to these benefits in your life. And if you're on the English area, it's been called English, then it's different for you. So it's quite incredible that people would um, uh, not realise this uh, because, of course, it's very obvious. Um, next thing to say is that... Um, Cars are really not a good idea, and nor is aeroplane travel, because these modes of transport are too fast, and um, they also use fossil fuels. Uh, even if we did have cars which um, were run on solar panel, cars are actually too fast, and aeroplanes are really too fast. So... If you are in um, England, then really you can fly all the way to uh, Australia in 24 hours. And this means, of course, that in Australia it's very easy to find uh, English things, like you can find fish and chips very easily, you can find um, Earl Grey tea and black tea, very easily. Um, you can find uh, custard very easily. So um, really uh, the culture in England is quite similar to the culture in Australia uh, because it's just so easy to connect those two countries. But of course this is problematic because Australia isn't anywhere near uh, England and, of course, uh, the native people of Australia um, have extremely quickly had to get used to the idea of being in this British culture that's in Australia. Uh, so there's suddenly alcohol uh, there. There's suddenly uh, drugs which didn't exist before. There's suddenly big skyscrapers. And really, you know, just 200 years ago, that wasn't there, you know. So that's just a disaster uh, waiting to happen. Um, also, people who have ferocious dogs. So these people, um, it could be said, have not thought uh, through their choice of pet. I mean, having a pet at all is quite crazy, really. Um, having a relationship with an animal who doesn't really understand what you're doing. Um, sort of like a false friend. You hear very often uh, of older women who have lots of cats to keep them company. Really, this is just quite incredible uh, that... Uh, you're so disconnected from uh, other people because they've just got no time for you, that you just have cats, because cats have got time for you, you need to provide them with food. And then you begin a relationship with this cat who just, you know, is is there for the food or the dog. And really this, it's like a forced relationship. It's really like obtaining a child and, and you know, this child's now having a, of course you connect, you connect. But it's just forced. It's very strange. So it's very, very difficult. The only exception I can think of is something like a sheepdog, where even then it's just really odd. Really, really odd. 
to do it. And you can just see it's a disaster waiting to happen that a sheepdog might attack uh, a baby. Um, you know, it really it could. It, it's not impossible for that to happen. I just think, you know, why and why? Why would you risk it? Well, 